This is how my Japanese wife typically eats cheap in a day. Previously, I did a video on what Maiko, my Japanese wife, typically eats in a day, but this time I wanted to show you how she eats super cheap per day, less than $2 a meal, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And just like last time, we're gonna do things just a little bit different and turn down the sound just a little bit. This is my Japanese wife, Maiko, born and raised in Japan and the mother of our two and a half year old son. And this is what she typically eats in a day when she's by herself and on a budget. First, she cooks rice as it's one of the best ways in Japan to save while also satisfying her stomach as one bowl costs only about 20 to 30 cents. Luckily, Japanese are so passionate about the rice, including my wife, that many rice cookers can uniquely adapt to 40 different rice brands and can also be programmed for the desired result such as moistness and firmness. She also can't help but drink coffee in the morning with milk even though it costs 90 cents a cup, her most expensive item of the day. That's her special miso egg she prepared last night. The recipe was passed down from her grandmother from Aichi Prefecture. My Japanese wife also enjoys nicer deli meats, but got these marked down as they were about to expire. A common practice in Japan for frugal shoppers. This is her breakfast, a bowl of white rice, natto fermented beans, takoan pickled daikon radish, ham, miso egg, and a cup of coffee. Total, 272 yen, $1.99, and her most expensive meal today. And natto, this is something she eats almost every day. She prefers to mix it like this until it gets white and gets the crush kind called hikiwari, which has a milder smell and taste compared to the whole bean natto. It's not necessarily a cost saving measure, but it does help that it's packed with nutrition for such an affordable price. Finally, she makes sure to eat every last piece of rice, a manner Japanese are taught as kids so as not to be rude to the farmers and chefs that created the meal. Now it's lunchtime. When my Japanese wife eats lunch at home, she prefers to prepare one large dish as opposed to multiple small ones to minimize her cooking time so she can get back to work. And since she's trying to minimize her cost today, she decides to go with a wafu tarako, Japanese style cod roll pasta with a dashi base. Tarako itself is commonly eaten in Japan, both cooked and raw, often added to onigiri, potato salad, okonomiyaki, and many other foods. In fact, I often see Maiko simply put it on top of her rice.
So this is your lunch with tarako and shiso on top. Total 205 yen, about $1.49. Quite a satisfying and fulfilling meal for her. So before we continue on, I want to tell you guys about the awesome people at Booksu who also sponsor this video. I know that some of you have already subscribed, which is awesome, but for those of you who don't know, they provide a gourmet experience of Japanese snacks and tea pairings delivered to your front door. And they work with traditional Japanese factories, some over 100 years old, to provide you with authentic Japanese flavors. Right now, even first time users will get a limited edition box. This month's theme is Sakura Story, celebrating Japan's cherry blossom season from Okinawa to Hokkaido. Featuring Sakura treats and other spring favorites. You even get this nice booklet that takes you through each snack. My favorite this month is a Lucky Mentaiko mayonnaise flavored snack, which you can try for yourself. So get $15 off your own authentic Japanese snack box subscription from Boksu by using my code PALO and link in the description. Finally, dinner time. First, she prepares tonjiru, a Japanese pork and vegetable soup. It's kind of like a miso soup, but with pork and lots of vegetables. So she often makes it when she feels like she hasn't eaten enough vegetables for the day. she's doing kakushi pocho, a traditional Japanese hidden cutting technique that lightly scores the surface of the food, helping vegetables marinate better and grill faster. And she uses her fish grill to cook her eggplant. Also, she covers it with tinfoil to save on time from having to wash the grill later. She now makes yaki onigiri, a Japanese grilled rice ball. The typical way to make yaki onigiri is to use white rice and brush the surface with sauce to make it extra crispy. But Maiko doesn't like it too crispy, so she seasons the rice instead and only grills it lightly. And this is my Japanese wife's budget dinner. Yaki onigiri, tonjiru soup, edamame, and grilled eggplant seasoned with sweet vinegar and soy sauce. Total 228 yen, about $1.66. The total for three meals today, $5.14. So that's how my Japanese wife eats cheap. If you guys like this video, help me out and hit that like button. If you guys want to help support the channel, check out the Japan merch. And if you guys want to see more videos like this or anything related to Japan, hit that subscribe button and the bell button. I'll catch you guys in the next one.